Ludwig van Beethoven was a German composer and pianist who lived between 1770 and 1827. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest composers in the history of Western classical music. Here are some interesting facts and curiosities about his life. Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father and grandfather were both performers in the state choir. When Beethoven was 17, he performed for Mozart in Vienna. While no one is sure what was said, Mozart, who famously was unimpressed with other musicians, reportedly said, Keep your eyes on him, someday he'll give the world something to talk about. Beethoven took lessons from the father of the symphony, Joseph Haydn. The two became easily frustrated with each other, and they ultimately didn't like each other very much. By age 27, Beethoven heard constant buzzing in his ear. While he believed this was due to a fall, it was mostly likely due to a childhood disease, perhaps typhus or smallpox. Some scholars believe he suffered from Paget's disease of bone, a thickening of the skull, or lead poisoning. Beethoven initially admired Napoleon as a symbol of a new era and dedicated his third symphony to him. Later Beethoven would be disappointed that Napoleon crowned himself emperor. Beethoven went completely deaf by the age of 47. Beethoven died on March 26, 1827. His body was moved to three different grave sites, ultimately coming to rest at Vienna's Zentralfriedhof, where he is with other famous composers like Schubert and Brahms. Beethoven's music was not always well received during his lifetime. Some critics found his music to be too unconventional and difficult to understand. However, his music was also highly regarded by many, and he had a loyal following of fans who appreciated his unique style and innovative approach to composition. Beethoven's music was also influential in shaping the romantic era of classical music that followed. His grandfather was the director of music to the Archbishop Elector of Cologne at Bonn and his father, Johann van Beethoven, worked at the same court as both an instrumentalist and tenor singer. Beethoven's father was a strict and abusive teacher, and he forced Beethoven to practice music for hours on end. Beethoven's mother, Maria Magdalena Keverich, was gentle and kind, and she was a great source of comfort to Beethoven throughout his life. Beethoven began studying music with his father at a young age, and he quickly showed a talent for the piano and the violin. By the time he was a teenager, Beethoven was already composing his own music. Ludwig van Beethoven is known for his many great works, but his most famous composition is likely his Ninth Symphony. It is also known as the Choral Symphony because of its final movement, which features a choir singing a setting of Schiller's poem Ode to Joy. The Ninth Symphony is widely regarded as one of the greatest symphonies ever composed and has had a lasting impact on the course of music history. Other notable works by Beethoven include his Third Symphony, also known as the Eroica Symphony, his Fifth Symphony, and his Moonlight Sonata. Beethoven's innovations have had a lasting impact on the course of music history. His approach to composition inspired other composers to push the boundaries of their own music. Beethoven's ideas about the role of the composer in society helped to shape the modern idea of the artist as a creative individual. Every major Romantic period composer was influenced by Beethoven in some way, but selecting just a few of them reveals the variety of ways in which that influence was felt. Hector Berlioz, Johannes Brahms, and Richard Wagner were very different composers, but each drew something significant from Beethoven.